it's time to present you our new series of videos about different knife steels where we are going to tell you about uh, their features and for what purposes they might be used. Today our main topic is the difference between the traditional steel manufacturing technology and crucible particle steel technology. I'm sure a lot of you heard about it, uh, all those abbreviations like CPM. Most of you already use the knives made by this technology and let's begin. But before jumping to the manufacturing technology itself, a couple of words about terminology. Uh, what is steel? It's an alloy of iron with carbon with addition of several alloying elements. What is alloying? Alloying is an addition of chemical elements into the composition of the steel to enhance its physical or chemical properties. Composition and proportions of alloying elements define different physical and chemical properties of the steel. By chemical properties we mean, for example, corrosion resistance and by physical properties hardness, plastic viscosity, etc. Also, each steel includes carbides. These are tiny but very hard yet fragile particles formed by combination of carbon with different metals inside this steel. Their size, amount and uniformity of distribution define such characteristics as cutting properties and durability of the steel. In traditional steel manufacturing, the molten metal is poured into molds, then slowly cools, while carbides form an inhomogeneous crystalline structure in which they are distributed unevenly. This makes a problem when it comes to cutting of this workpiece because different parts of it might have different characteristics because the alloying elements along with carbides are distributed chaotically. The larger the casting, the more heterogeneous its composition. And uh, the processes after would be either hot rolling, either forging because both of these methods compact the structure of the steel but cannot affect its composition. But both of these methods cannot do anything about the uniformity of this structure. Crucible particle methodology technology appeared in 1970. It solved the problem of uniformity of steel structure and made it possible to produce high alloy grades of steel that were previously unavailable with traditional technology. When it comes to a crucible particle technology, instead of pouring molten metal into molds, it passes through a narrow nozzle and under high pressure it is sprayed into spherical droplets, which quickly solidify in a special chamber and a sort of metal dust is created, which then would be pressurized under high temperature, creating a solid and homogeneous structure of steel that would be hot rolled to gain a new shape. Each particle of metal powder created in process is a small microlith with tiny carbides, the size of which is around from 2 to 5 microns. In comparison, traditional steel will contain carbides the size of which will start from 50 microns. In this way, we obtain a workpiece with uniform distribution of carbides and homogeneous structure. Each piece of this uh, workpiece will have the same characteristics as the rest of it. Then the workpiece is subjected to heat treatment, which will define the final characteristics of steel. The technology might differ from one kind of steel to another and it depends on which characteristics of steel are given priority. And this is only the beginning of our series about steel. In our next video we will speak about the CPM3V steel. Perhaps it would be interested for you. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channel. Share your comments about what interesting topics uh, we might make for you and I'll see you next time.